Okay, this is the last part of my craft room. Um, this is where we left off. That is above my two small stamp cabinets. That's where I keep a lot of my papers, ideas, catalogs, things like that. Um, it's a really cool stamp here. Hope you can see that. My friend Chrissy had that made for me in Thailand. Um, there's another one over here on this little stand. It's kind of blocked though. Um, but that's another one there. And she had those for me as a wedding gift there. The traditional wedding march. And they're rats because that's good luck I guess. Um, it's a really big stamp I got years ago. And he's, these are a few projects I've done. This is a book I made for Char and I think I'll do a video on that because it came out really cool and then here's a clock that was made for me years ago by my friend Elaine and I just always have kept that I thought it was really cool so if we come back down here these are my Alex shelves from Ikea I'm gonna go through these um, but first I'll just show you the last part of my room this is a printer press drawer. It has some of my stamps that I've kept mounted in there. Ones that might have been too small or, or some of the word ones. This is my ancient printer along with my spray adhesive and a tray that I use for the adhesive. And next to that is a filing cabinet. I keep my scrapbook papers on top of that as well as my Martha Stewart scoreboard which I absolutely love another one of those ten dollar finds and then this is how I keep my papers I just write which paper packs are in them on top of the container I can always rub that off with the alcohol ink blending solution if I change and then I just have a basket of office supplies underneath the printer. Okay, back to, back to the Alex drawers. My husband pointed out something really neat to me. That these would be perfect for my labels. So they're all labeled, yet still white on the front. These are all of my nestabilities in those old AOL tins that we used to get in the mail. And my father kept them, my mom kept them, Char kept them. So I have a whole bunch of them in here with all my nestabilities, as well as the rest of my dies. These are my punches, or at least a large portion of them. I have some more in my stamp cabinets. I'll show you those. Handmade papers and templates. And these look really messy. Again, they're not really messy. And these are a lot of my pens, my Posh Impressions inks, and my sponges for those inks. My reinkers and brayers. <coughs> Excuse me. Stickers. <coughs> All different kinds of watercolors. Tissues and fibers. Can't open that one because of the plug. Tags, file folders, slide mounts, wire and UD. Clay and foil. And lastly, tools. And my roller graph wheels. These are my stamp cabinets. I have chosen to leave some of my stamps mounted, like my house mouse images. And I just have drawers of those. These are all my house mouse. My greetings. All of my old Stamparosa stamps. And Holly Berry House. keep several of my punches 
on the doors. So that's one of them. And then this is the last one. These doors actually are holding big stamps, as was intended. Then I have all of my embossing powders in here. These are Ranger in this drawer. These are Powder Keg, Art Institute glitters, laces for use with the glitters, or glitter, and glitter, and small beads. My Radiant Pearls, my Twinkling H2Os, both sizes, and my Pearlex Perfect Pearls and Powdered Pearls. The other side has my rubber stamp tapestry stamps, the pegs, my chalks, my Perlex palettes, and my rub and buff. These are just kind of random charms, brads, iron on rhinestones. These are how I keep my brads and eyelets and extra little tools, charms, a few beads, more beads, these are all beads, those have holes, and these are hole lips. My Versicolor cubes, and a few other random cubes, my Vivid smaller ink pads, and the one big one. And lastly, my PXS, PSX Botanicals. And again, that's how the doors are. And that is everything. Thanks for watching.